Hello everyone. Um, today I am making some mulled cider or apple cider if you like to call it, non-alcoholic. It is so, so cold in Ireland now at the moment. It, right now, I know this probably isn't cold for other parts of the world, but for here it's non-existent. Uh, it's two degrees at the moment and it's going to snow tonight. So we're going to get in the Christmas spirit. So I have some good quality apple juice here. Um, I like to buy the ones that you get in the fridge. It's probably like a euro or two more expensive than the ones that you buy in the aisles in the cardboard boxes. But this is really good. I get it like a cloudy one if you can. So I just have this over a um, low medium heat and I'm just going to add in some apple juice. I put in about half because I'm only having a cup of it myself, but if you want to make a batch and leave it in the fridge, be my guest. Um, or if you uh, are having people over, whatever else. But uh, this is a really good one for Christmas. Um, if there's people, like designated drivers, brilliant. If there's pregnant people, brilliant. Um, I'm not another of those things, but I just, it's like a Wednesday night and I want to have this. <laughs> So I have these, um, well I have my apple juice in here, I have these mulled wine spice uh, tea bags. They have all spice, dried orange peel, cinnamon, ground cloves and nutmeg in them. They smell so nice but I'm going to put one of them in because it's easy to fish out then at the end. So just that, um, you know, put as much or as little of anything as you want in. I like it to be quite spiced so I'm going to do that. But um, exactly that I mean. So I have some mixed spice here. Um, listen, a sprinkle. Just a sp quite hard to get out. Just a sprinkle because this has coriander, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, ginger, clove. So only a, like a smidge of that. So it's a coriander. Like you use that in curries and everything but it is very Christmassy and nice. And the big one that I love to go for is cinnamon. I would probably use a cinnamon stick in this, but I don't have any, I couldn't find any in the supermarket. That was on open. Um, I've got three jars of cinnamon in my spice cabinet. How cool is this? <laughs> it's a secret drawer with all my spices in it. So I'm just going to put in some cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon. Um, apple and cinnamon are the best combinations. So, well, that's why I'm doing this. Um, so I put in a lot of it. I wouldn't put honey in. You can if you like, but apple juice is really sweet on its own. I don't think you need it. So I have here a large piece of ginger um, that I just peeled and I'm going to pop that in. So I don't know if you can see here now. It's all coming together quite nicely. And then I have a slice of lemon. And oh, I forgot. Put my clothes back. Where did I put that? Oh, yeah. Slice of lemon. Um, you can do slice of orange. You can do a slice of apple. I just find that with the lemon, I'm going to stick about five or six cloves in it, and uh, it's the easiest thing to stick cloves into. It's quite hard to stick cloves into a uh, apple, but if you want to have like a nice garnish, you could do. A slice of apple and some cranberries um but you have to fish them out anyway so it's a bit of like faff if it's just you yourself having it um so yeah, these always remind me of hot whiskey so i'm going to put that in here i'm going to give that this a stir around and um, we're just trying to kind of warm this we're not trying to cook it or boil it or anything so I'm going to increase the temperature now to a medium heat um, just to get oh yum it smells like Christmas oh my god so uh, you're just trying to warm it up uh, you don't want to boil it because that oh, it just makes it a bit oh, sickly or something um, but definitely like you want it warm, you want it hot, but you don't want it boiling. Um, so this is so cool for Christmas. Uh, you could uh, put it in like a teapot at Christmas if you had people over and put a tea cozy on top. <laughs> uh, 
but uh, yeah it's one of my fav favorites i love anything spice i love mulled wine i love you know things like that i actually haven't tried eggnog that's a really cool christmas drink that isn't popular in ireland but i really want to give it a go um if i have any american people uh watching me if you have any suggestions on how to make it they do have one in my local supermarket that's in it's a quite large carton with a red lid on it um, so I might try that and see if it's any use, but I think the way to go maybe is homemade. I'm not sure. Um, it just, uh, it's always in like Christmas films and, you know, you always see like in American Christmas films, eggnog and like sugar cookies. Like, but we just don't have that sort of stuff here. But the, we have more malt wine, hot whiskey, of course, being Ireland. And um, Christmas cake and Christmas pudding, everything with bloody Hennessy in it. Uh, which I'm not I'm not a fan of fruit cake or plum pudding or Christmas cake. That might be controversial. So give it anything chocolate, sticky toffee pudding, anything with custard, bit of whipped cream. That's far more in my uh, bag than you know any of that sort of stuff. But yeah. It's so exciting. I'm so looking forward to Christmas. I uh actually i'm ordering my christmas dinner from the supermarket this year so i'll do a video on that it's very good i um got it last year as well um and i think it's amazing like it's just takes like not that it's hassle but like if you want to go out christmas eve to the pub or you know meet people for drinks it's, it's a very busy time and uh, i don't know why people put themselves through like the absolute stress of you know peeling Brussels sprouts and peeling carrots. Buy some stuff ready made. I don't understand why it has to be an absolute labour of, of some people call it a labour of love, but I think it's a form of torture. Uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, all day Christmas Eve cooking, no thanks. I want to go to church, well, ma mass, go to carol service, uh, go to the pub after the mass, um, you know walk down the road and there's a lovely Christmas lights in everybody's houses. Like it's a time for just enjoying rather than like, imagine like slaving away in the kitchen the night before Christmas day. Mm -mm. No, thank you. So this is what it looks like here now. It's quite uh, dark because I put so much cinnamon in. Um, but like that's music to my ears. I love that. So mine's just about ready now. Um, I'm going to get a little sieve and it, you can hear it really heating up there. Uh, so I'm going to turn it off. It's just about to come to the boil, but like just knock it off. Um, knock it off. <laughs> so I'm going to strain it uh, in here. There's a bit of spillage, but look, it's grand. It's worth the mess, which is, it's not even messy, like, come on, anyone could do this. Oh. Uh, so that is that. You see? It actually looks a bit like tea. <laughs> but, uh, oh, if you could smell this, sending apple cider vibes your way it is delish and what i like to do is i just top it off with a bit of cold or room temperature apple juice so just so i can get it down my neck quicker and that is it <laughs> anyway let me know if you make it i am really going to enjoy this now i'm going to go into my fire and chill